Today's video is about melatonin and how it helps protect against kidney damage if you have to use antibiotics and how it's just a great supplement in general. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Robert Galarowitz, naturopath, nutritionist, kidney survivor. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't because by subscribing you help other people find our videos. And feel free to comment. We usually get back to comments within a within a three to four days in that area, but we definitely always get back to comments. So let's talk about melatonin, this over-the-counter supplement. It's not actually a vitamin, it's actually a hormone. It's an over-the-counter hormone. It comes from the pineal gland in the brain. Usually it's taken from cows and melatonin helps regulate your sleep and wake cycle. And it's also a very strong antioxidant which helps protect the kidney. And it may even uh, help with proteinuria with protein excretion in the urine, which is a great thing. So today, this study, uh, this citation is, is uh, renal protective effects of melatonin against vancomycin related acute kidney injury in hospitalized patients, a retrospective cohort study, the Journal of Antimicrobial Agents and Chemotherapy, 2021, August. Okay, so they, uh, vancomycin is an antibiotic, and a lot of antibiotics can be very damaging to the kidney, as well as chemotherapy, uh, different medications. And so what they did here was they gave people melatonin who had kidney problems, okay, who had kidney disease. And they gave them doses uh, between one and five milligrams. And they found that people who took that melatonin, the, the rates of those people getting kidney damage was much, much, much less as compared to the people who didn't take melatonin and, and didn't do anything to protect their kidneys. So melatonin what do we know about melatonin it's grass status generally recognized as safe it's been out for a long time so we got tons and tons of study uh, it can go well with any of your medication there really is no contraindications on medications unless, unless maybe you're using some type of sleep med and sleep problems in kidney disease are very common because there's melatonin receptors on the kidney so melatonin also helps with sleep and i've had i've had really bad insomnia uh, at times, depending of my kidney disease and where I was at in the stages. And so melatonin helped me at those times. Uh, one to five milligrams seems to be a, a good safe dose for everybody. It can help you sleep. If you gotta take antibiotics, you can take melatonin. If you have to do a med another medication, you can protect with melatonin. And if you take melatonin with less salt in your diet, so a low salt diet, you gotta get that sodium out of your diet because it's bad for the kidneys. So a low sodium diet with melatonin has a good chance of reducing the protein in your urine. So that's a super good, important thing. Uh, as far as melatonin, side effects in a very, very small percentage of people, they get an opposite effect where instead of making you drowsy, uh, um, drowsy groggy, it makes you more uh, wired, awake, alert. And that's in a very small percentage. Another side effect is vivid dreams. So people get really vivid dreams on it. You could. It's not everybody, again, it's a smaller percentage. Uh, it's harmless, but a lot of people don't like the vivid dreams. So those are two things to watch out for. Another thing is if you take melatonin and it helps you sleep, but you wake up really groggy, you wake up tired, you need to cut the dose back. So let's say you are taking a five milligram pill, maybe you try two and a half milligrams or two milligrams or three. So you gotta find the right dose that works for you to be able to sleep, uh, and not wake up groggy, not be sluggish and tired through those morning hours and, and good parts of the day. So melatonin, great supplement. Feel free to use it. You could find it just about everywhere from pharmacies to supermarket checkout lines. And it's really good for your kidneys. It's safe. Definitely something you want to consider taking if you're looking to add a supplement to help yourself sleep better and you have kidney disease. So make sure to subscribe, everybody, and to your best kidney health. Bye.